What's going on guys? Tony Callen here back at you with C-Films and today we're going to do another product review. I'm not sponsored by this company by any means. These are my personal opinions on the brand. Yeah. I may have just stumbled upon the Miracle Machine. If you're like me and you shoot video or music or do photography, you lose storage very quickly and I might have found a solution. And I get it, I'm a little bit late to the whole thing here, but I just started losing lots of space on my computer, so I needed to find a solution. I did a lot of research on different RAIDs and different hard drive solutions, but this one caught my eye for some reason. Today we're gonna be talking about the G Drive Thunderbolt 3 by G Technology. So I picked this thing up about a month ago when I started losing a lot of space on my computer. All my applications were running very slow and I needed to find a solution quick. Right off the bat when I unboxed it, I was very pleased. It's very high quality, a heavy piece of equipment. It's all surrounded in a metal case, which I really liked. And the Thunderbolt 3 is very convenient with the faster speeds. I think the number was 226 megabytes per second at a 7,200 RPM drive. And I'm not a pro at this by any means. This might be false information, but I wanna read the side of the box really quick. So it says, G Drive with Thunderbolt 3 technology is perfect for storage intensive applications like audio slash video editing, photography, and music libraries. Now, I did read that you can edit off of this G Drive. Now, what does that mean exactly? This is where that false information might come in, but I have an idea of what it might mean. So, when you store a project file on your computer, you're using your computer's data and memory to run that file, but when you store it, on something like the G Drive, then you're using its memory to process your files. I believe that's how it works. I know there's a lot with RAM and other stuff that has to do with it, but I know with the Thunderbolt 3 and the transfer speeds, it's really quick and gets the job done. So before the G Drive, I was using a pretty basic Western Digital uh, USB hard drive, and that worked pretty well. There was only two terabytes on it. This G Drive has six terabytes of storage on it. It's a little bit pricey, I believe it was about $325, somewhere in there. But uh, I really, really do love this piece of machinery. It gets the job done, like I said, the editing speeds are really fast. And being able to store all my files off my computer allows for my computer to be much faster, not lagging because it's, all the memory is full. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer quick and I'll show you a quick transfer speed. Then we'll come back out and wrap it up. All right guys, so we're back at my desk here. I got the G drive and I'll show you guys how I connected here. So I forgot to mention there are two Thunderbolt 3 drives on the back so you can daisy chain a few of these together. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And I'll take my Thunderbolt 3 cable that goes to my Mac and plug that into the back. We're gonna go ahead and take the power cord, plug that into the power DC and then turn the switch on and you should see the light light up. So we can see the G drive successfully loaded onto the screen and now it's just plug and play from here. You can see at the top I have a three gigabyte file I'm gonna be transferring right now. And I'm just gonna drag that over. All right, and just like that it transferred over. It took about 26 seconds I believe, just for reference. So along with the G drive, I actually went ahead and picked up one of these Armor ATD drives as well. So this is just kind of like my Western Digital one. It's just a two terabyte hard drive. And, but for reference, uh, this puts out 140 megabytes per second of transfer speeds, as opposed to the 226 off of the G drive. I went ahead and picked up the Armor ATD to serve as a backup to the G drive. And then I just use my Western Digital now for my old files back from years past, 2019, 2018, so on and so forth. And that allows me to leave my computer space all freed up to have those faster speeds for, to run my applications. Overall, I'd give the G Drive a nine out of 10, which is a very high rating. I do really like this machine and it really helps editing, helps my computer stay free of storage and helps my applications run faster. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's gear review. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more of these. I have a lot of quarantine ideas for C-Films channel. 
I keep getting subscribers every day. I appreciate that from you guys so much. It really does help and does matter. All the likes and comments, it all helps. So we will see you guys in the next video.